More than two dozen businesses in Wilton Manors are helping hate crime victims when they need it most. Yeah, they're taking part in the Safe Place program. CBS News Miami's Ted Scouten shows us what that's all about. I have been chased from bars to my car. I have been beat up. I've been raped. Social worker Misty Alisea knows firsthand the sting of hate crimes and harassment. She explains for some in the LGBTQ plus community, going to the police station to file a report is not easy. It's very much easier said than done, especially when you feel like you're a part of the community that the police doesn't approve of. And not saying that that's always the case. Wilton Manor's police are well aware of that sentiment and are trying to make it easier with the creation of the Safe Place program. If they uh, have concerns or issues or questions about uh, how to report a crime, they have places they can go in order to uh, report that crime and uh, feel comfortable, feel safe. Look for these stickers on more than two dozen businesses in Wilton Manors, letting victims of hate crimes, discrimination, and harassment know there's a place for them to go if they're uncomfortable going to the police department, like here at the Pride Factory. We have the, the stickers on the door that let them know that we are a safe place and that they can take refuge here if they need to. SunServe CEO Tony Lima is head of one of South Florida's most well-known social service agencies. He hopes the Safe Place program will make crime victims more comfortable coming forward. We we can help to be that bridge. We can call the police for them, sit with them. The police come in, have a conversation, and with their, we're there basically holding their hands. So far, 27 businesses here in Wilton Manors are taking part in the Safe Place program. If your business would like to get involved, you can contact the Wilton Manors Police for information as well as training. In Wilton Manors, Ted Scout, CBS News, Miami.